Let's go. What is up, everybody? Thursday night, the Thursday night special. What is up, everybody? It's your host, Otto, coming to you live and direct from the grotto. We are three men in the basement. And just like Bo and Luke Duke, back on the Dukes of Hazard, again, we are in man. the general league. Go. We are back in our spot again. Bo and Luke Duke That's in Hazard right. County right here, right now. What it's great is to be up, back. everybody? It's great to be back. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in the grotto live with Everett. So we're hoping – you guys will stick around and see some great books. Absolutely. And hanging out in Hazard County is our man, David A. Cave. David A. Cave, what's up, brother? Good to see you again. What's up, party people? I am still hurting from our Connecticut <laughs> crawl, comic crawl. And uh, happy 4th. And uh, let's let's do this. I'm ready to see right. some books. And piloting the Millennium Falcon on our Kessel Run, producing the show, uh, our man, Nemesis Prime, a.k.a. The big winner from the comic ball. <laughs> Spent <laughs> quite a lot of money on Monday. Still going through stuff. Still rebegging and boarding a lot of stuff. He I am even excited. know what he has. <laughs> yeah, I really don't. I had to alphabetize everything at one point. So. <laughs> He'd had still be there. Me, absolutely. So for those of you guys that still know, we want to give a couple shout outs right now. We want to give a shout out to everybody who participated in the comic book crawl. We want to give a shout out to three people, uh, three stores individually and a, um, a dealer per se. So we want to give a shout out to the Eye opener in Newington, Connecticut, to our buddy Mr. Art Mesa, who opened up his store not one hour early, but two hours two early hours for, us, early. for us to go digging and digging. Is that his last name? Mesa, yes. That's when you think you know something. All right. <laughs> and we went digging pretty hard. And then a shout out to Jeremiah's Antiques, and more importantly, shout out to JNS Collectibles. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Jill have a pop up store in an antique store. But more importantly, after that, we went to their house and they set up their garage. For us to go digging Comic Con style, yeah, you can it really see that. looked like a con setup. Yeah, definitely. And you can see that in the videos. And then, last but not least, shout out to Sarge's Comics in New London, Connecticut, who opened up their doors on a day off yeah. to let ten of us go through it. And if you watch either my video, our video, or Barry Gary's video, before the owner, while the owner opened up the door, before he even turned on the lights, you guys were already digging, digging. right? <laughs> like you guys were already looking through stuff. And if you have to watch those videos, so we have two videos, one on Barry Gary's channel and one on Three Men in the Basement. So please check that out and uh, enjoy all that. So it was a great experience, and thanks very much again to Barry Gary, The Butcher uh, 105, Forge Comics, all the crews that came and Joe had a good collects. time. Joe Collects, Sydney Hale met us. So uh, it was just a great time. We got lots of pickups and. It was just a great experience for me. Uh, Justin, how about yourself, real quick? Yeah, you know, and we always talk about this community and the fact that there's no convention. So it's, you know, you can't meet up with someone at like whatever, whatever convention is going on. The fact that Otto, you know, put this all together probably in about, what, two to three weeks. I mean, it was just great. Yeah. The fact that we got everybody together, everybody was able to take the day off. I mean, it's hard to take off, especially on a Monday. Monday, everyone gets back to work and it's just like, you know, you're grinding in at work. We all took off, you know, me and Dave, we, we we drove the longest. It took us, what, like two and a half hours to get, get to yeah. Connecticut. It took forever to get home. I didn't get home till about 1 a.m. Long ass day. I hated Tuesday at work. But you know <laughs> what? Uh, I appreciate all the guys who came out, all the shops that let us shop in their stores. It is just a great community. Just you know what it is? Uh, and I'll tell you, I mean, I don't really know some of these guys outside of, you know, YouTube and Instagram. You know, hanging out with Guy in your car was great. You know, I've never met him other than like the YouTube and IG. And it was yeah. just like we've been, you know, friends for a while. So right. it's really cool. And it's just a really great thing. What about you, Dave? Yeah, I mean, uh, comics aside, um, I'm definitely going to talk about the community. You know, again, the, the 10, 11 of us just shooting the shit, busting each other's balls. Like, you know, I mean, that's the stuff that I live for. That's more important than a dollar comic book or a hundred dollar comic book. I mean, I love it. The fact that, you know, again, we're, we're kind of dealing with what we're dealing with here in the States. Uh, again, that, uh, you know, again, that connection, you know, that's, that's something that I think a lot of us are lacking and, uh, it's, it's super important now more than ever. So. Right. Absolutely. For sure. For and sure. Roger, your thoughts about yeah, it. Yeah. I think it's just, like, like to piggyback on them, like you don't really know the guys other than Instagram and and YouTube. And, you know, a few shows back when I asked everybody, you know, tell us something about you that nobody would know by seeing your Instagram and YouTube. And we found that out about these guys right. over a 12, 13-hour span, you right. know, just digging for comics, like just breaking each other's stones, whether mm. it's, hey, I got to this box first, or right. get out of here. And Justin's like, I own Star Wars. Get out of the way. You know right, I mean? yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> and, and what's funny is a lot of that, that thrown back. Like, I'm not touching this box. It belongs to Justin. You know, yeah. it, it, you know or it's Spider-Man keys. I'm not touching the day-to-day -day stuff. You yeah. know, like, 
it was a lot of fun to really see, especially to see how much we know about each other. Never have met a bit like Correct. meeting each other. Right. Yeah. And I always and I always like to say, and I do, I did forget. I, I can't. How could I forget Uncle Frank? Uncle Frank, uh, right. who showed up at nine o'clock on the dot, very punctual, very on time, ready to do it. <laughs> and uh, it was just a lot of fun. But more importantly, what we always say about Three Men in the Basement when we try to do our shows, we want this conversation to be like a bunch of guys sitting in your backyard around the fire pit, a bunch of guys sitting around at the bar, a bunch of guys sitting around, guys and girls, I should say, talking comics. And I think that's really indicative of what that whole day was, it right, was, guys? Absolutely. You know, know Sydney Hale met us, right? Yeah, Sydney, Sydney Hale, Hale just met us right at the really aisle. Just there, laid so. back. Everybody yeah. had a great time. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, you got a lot. Of, we've got a lot of inside jokes that you can see yeah. from the two videos. So I'll just leave it at that. But Dave, while we're going, I see we got almost seventy-five people in the chat, man. You want to give anybody a shout yeah, out? Yeah, chat's rocking. I love it. So first to the uh, first to the chat was Brian Daniel. So way to go. Uh, the Sled Signature Series Addict says he was third, but he was actually second. Uh, Sith Lordly, uh, Jeff Silversmith. What's up, man? Uh, who else we got? Randy Sloan, Mr. Wonkers in there. Mr. Wesley Wonkers. Wesley Campbell, uh, Zeus Ortiz, Something <laughs> Wong, <laughs> Burke Family 54 Comics. What's up, my man? The Comic Forge. Uh, right. Mr. Mr. Gretzky, oh, 99. Oh, oh Jeff oh, Silversmith oh, with the $20. We got 27 books, so we might have a karate <laughs> chop. Yeah. All right. I've already got my defense mechanisms. I've been practicing all day. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Boom. First okay. one of, first one of the day. <laughs> but, um, yeah, who else? Sydney, Sydney Hale's in there. Uh, who else? Johnny Dakota. What's up, man? Brian Daniel again. Matt Forge Comics. Bonafide Comics. Man from Beantown. Joe C. Uncle Frank's in there. All right. Uh, Rock the Proof, Sydney Hale, Frank T. Oh my gosh, just so hard, hard to right? catch up with. The Butch yeah, we'll is in there. We go on. We'll give a shout out to we go on. So just so yeah. you guys know, Jeff Silversmith, thank you so much for that twenty dollars super chat. I know that uh, that karate chop was for you, but I wanted to thank you personally. Yeah, he's right. been uh, he's been he's been really active on the channel lately, and uh, appreciate support. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So for pickups, a lot of us are going to do pickups in a different way. Um, if we did all of Justin's pickups, we'd be here till midnight. Yeah. And Justin nobody, deserves his own Justin video. Justin deserves his own video. Everything that he picked up. Um, I've got a few things that I'm going to show up. But you know what? Roger really went to town. So uh, all right, let's start. Let's you you want to get it popping right now yeah, with what you got? You know, so, store by store? So Roger's going to get it popping. What happened? He's going to get it popping. Hot and popping. So this is the very first stop, which was the eye opener. Nice. And these are the books that I bought. Ultimate Spider-Man Web Warriors with a little... Miles Morales action on it. Beautiful. Oh, shout out Sydney Hale. Twenty five dollars super chat. Hale, thank you very much, brother. Great to meet you. Um, what's funny is an auto left. <laughs> Irish goodbye. <to> us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't can't get take control. He's just not allowed. All right, to take go. All right. There All you right. are. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So. <laughs> Pick this one up. Just saw someone post on Instagram. Didn't realize this is a glow in the dark cover. Ah, yes. I remember that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty cool. Did we give Sydney Hill a shout out for dropping that? We did. Yeah, we did man. Before you took us out of I know. Yeah. Yeah. While well, you went into the quantum zone, we, yeah, we gave you really. a shout out. So I bought this because I, I have a lot of Dark Knights Metal variants. I've never seen this one with Dark Side, um, Dark Side on it. Nice. Some of these books soon to be at a auction near you. This is a fourth print variant of the Amazing Spider-Man 583 with Mr. President on the cover. That's dope. And my second copy of this book in two weeks. Amazing Spider-Man 500. We love anniversary issues. Well, that's Jay, Jay Scott, Scott Campbell. Right. Beautiful. Love Jay Scott Campbell in here love too. Jay Scott Campbell. So all right. I picked all those up at the eye opener. Gotcha. Right on. Fair prices. Absolutely fair. Yeah, absolutely. Well, right this guy on. was happy to have us. Yeah. You know, he's not normally a happy guy. Well, you know, and he looked happy, he to, see happy us. to see he us. He really was happy to see us. Awesome. All right. Dave, what do you got for – you got any pickups from the eye opener? You got that or – I just grouped all mine together. Did I didn't separate okay. mine out. So. All right, good. So Roger's going to keep going. All right, yeah. so I'm going to do. Did I'm, you get all that stuff from Torpedo? I, no, I did not. This is the fact <laughs> I keep these books around to remember that I could put good books in this box, <laughs> um, and it doesn't happen that often. So these next ones are uh, 
AOKs from this past weekend. I got this Annihilation Conquest prologue number one from Dub Butcher. Jay, thank you very much. This is the first cameo of Wraith. Beautiful copy. Right he, I think you found that at the eye opener. And uh, you know, that's a nice looking book. Look at these. These next sick. two books, I, I, I swear to God, I, I was so mad that I missed out on these. So angry. And my boy Dave in the cave came through. And these Ooh. are so beautiful. I'm sending <laughs> them both out. I mean, you mean Cat Who did them? We go way back. <laughs> Who did those? Natalie Sanders. Oh, Natalie That's Sanders, a KRS yeah. exclusive. This yeah. is mean, absolutely beautiful. Dude, I right think here. I like the one with the cat woman on the oh, top better. God. What are your the guys thoughts on that? The, the magazine one? It's yeah, growing on me. Cover. Yeah, it's growing on me. This one? Yeah, I like the magazine cover because it, it's just so like authentic. No, the other one. Oh, it looks like the magazine. Yeah, it looks like the magazine I'll cover. I'll take yeah. the version, trust me. Okay. Hey. Uh, this was <laughs> gifted to me not this weekend, but when I got back from this weekend from Jesus Ortiz, my co-worker knowing that i like hip-hop bought this online and i have it and i have it <laughs> right you didn't have that one right and then so sunday for those of you who didn't watch live they are unable to watch now i was live on the butcher's channel <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that has been taken down since um and we won't tell you why if you weren't watching and um mr uh <laughs> matt uh forge had shown some books that he just bought two of them and I looked them up and lo and behold I didn't have it so he Boom. gifted this to me another hip hop variant nice okay <laughs> well, I'm surprised life. that was harsh money <laughs> no, I'm surprised you didn't have those two. Yeah. Hip -hop variants I know have. because they're not they're not easy to find they're not okay yeah, so the, yeah so I actually got two books that are actually hard to find here's right. here's my second copy of the ASM 500 that I bought at um the last one I bought at the eye opener. This one I bought. Um, actually, I bought that at Sarger's. You did uh, before we went there. I was going to check it out and found that there. So <laughs> <laughs> you got that on the low right I got there. The, the, the down low. Yes. Yeah. So those are my AOKs. I'm just going to finish this box. These are things that I bought um, recently online. So I have Action Comics number nine. I have three copies of these. So everybody knows this book. Damn. Nice. Right. I missed that. Where'd you get those? Oh, yeah. I got them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the variant cover. I grabbed one of those. I found that. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess the other two are harder to find. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Pick me up another one of these guys. Justin uh, may have something to say about that one. Yeah. First sale. <laughs> and look at this. Three of these guys. Three Canaan. Who is now possibly my favorite cartoon character of all time. Really? Wow. Sabine Wren. Oh, Sabine Wren. Oh, oh, gotcha. just, I can't get enough of Sabine. Okay. Can't get enough of her. So those are uh, things I picked up online. Nice. Personally. It's a online nice hole, friend. What's that? So that's a nice haul. Nice work. Yeah. Some of these are soon to be seen at a uh, auction near you. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. I know. Oh. So, and you're only using that torpedo box because that's I'm, I'm the first time it's seen good books, it's right? First time there's actually good books inside of it. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So uh good stuff right here in the grotto. So let's see what Dave pulled out of the cave. Oh, all right. So I got a little bit of everything. I got uh the crawl pulls, I have auction wins, I have eBay buys. So we'll we'll just go through it. So I got this first one up on uh Keep it thorough's last auction. So with the savages. So I got this from Mr. Let. This is a Spider-Man 26. It's got a little interesting flair to it because it has a massive remark on it. Oh, love that. Done by Sam De La Rosa. I this think is... I even texted you and said, God damn it, you bid first. <laughs> I don't bid against you guys. <laughs> That's really cool. It comes with the COA. It's pretty cool. Beautiful. Very, very cool. Um, and then a couple other auctions. So I am going hard on this book. You guys know what it is. ASM number four. Yeah, okay. okay. It's so nice. I have it twice. Oh, for, twice <laughs> for Christmas. Look at that. Oh, well, I've, I have quite a few more coming. I bet you so. do. I bet you do. Don't <laughs> slab worthy? Uh, after, slab a press worthy. Day, after a press, they will be. Yeah, nice. Um, another one that I'm specking a little bit on. Uh, it's actually A-Force. So I have A-Force number one. The one in... 50 ratio variant. Whoa. Oh, by Mr. Ratio. Done by Mr. Adam Hughes. Love this one. 
Love it, love it, love it. And then the probably the biggest book in the stack. I've been after this one for a while. It's an amazing Spider-Man number 700 and is the 1 and 200 Ooh, Steve Ditko variant. Ooh. Oh, that's Andre right. You were talking about man. this. This you is a big one. The book. <laughs> this is a big one. So press and slab eventually. This this one's been I've been after this one for a while, so I'm super happy to uh to add it in. And then two more auction wins. Actually, these are eBay. Excuse me. Amazing Spider-Man 606. Awesome. 6, so this is the variant edition. So black and white. Felicia's colored. But, you know, if you're going to do it, if you're going to do something, you got to do it big, right? So you got to get the con variant in a 98 oh, sign, sign. signed by uh, oh. J. Scott Campbell. <laughs> so now I have the full set of 606s. Right. Now that Dave <laughs> slapped me in the face. Wow. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> And then these books, I mean, I, I pulled a ton of books from uh, from the crawl. I'm just going to highlight the big ones. So filling out the Spidey run, Amazing Spider-Man number 49. Yeah. It's a good one. Very, very nice. Very got that I believe I got this one from uh, JNS or JLS. JNS, right? JNS. Yeah. yeah. So I got that from him. I got this from him as well. Number, 60, number 69. Good looking book. Yeah, for sure. That's a clean looking book. And then the third one that I got from him was 344. So your first Cletus Cassidy. So yeah. clean, clean stuff. And then I picked up, I picked this book up from Sarge's. Anytime I see this in high grade, I always pick it up. 375 gold foil, Mark Bagley. Gotta love it. Yeah. And then my last book. So this was in the, you know, uh, at Sarge's in the the place that, not, that shall not be named. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I picked up one through 10, um, Spider-Man 2099. Nice. But this is, as Mr. Roma Curtis would say, slab worthy. Slab worthy. Slab worthy. Boom. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there you go, guys. That's everything Speaking for Roma me. Curtis, didn't we have, like, we, we talked about doing a, a, a viewer spotlight we got to give a big shout out to Mr. Roman Curtis because he, uh, look, at, look at Roman Curtis right there. That <laughs> how happy is to have a hat. Look how happy shirt. he is to have that three bed shirt, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's a great thing. So, you guys, we're going to try to do this on a daily basis. So, I don't, whenever we do our show. So, if you have any of our three bed apparel, you're out in the world, out in a comic shop or something like that, take a picture of yourself in a three men uh, shirt. Tag us on Instagram. Yes. Hashtag and, uh, three MIB or three men in the basement. Yeah. Hashtag that. Let us see it and uh, we'll get you up on there. So that's oh, yeah. good. All right. So we have 27 books back from CGC. We've got a lot of them to do. This is going to be a little bit different <laughs> because these are both Rogers and our, and these are both Rogers books, my books and uncle Frank's books. So um, these were all moderns that we sent in and we're going to try to do this, but I have to get my assistant, Zoe Zozo Zarina, down here to help us out. So before we get started, <laughs> please, uh, before we get started, I do want to give a shout out to Rocket Comics. Rocket Comics, if you did any of their Jim Lee signings, it was today. So Rocket Comics was working very, very hard today to get all your books signed by Jim Lee. I can imagine how many people yeah. have modern signatures. Over, over, 400, over 400. Over 400. That's not count, That's including the remarks and everything like that. So Rocket Comics was working very hard today. So shout out to you guys. And before we do our CGC unveiling, you are going to see our commercial from Rocket Comics. So hit it, Justin. Slow jam. Slow yeah. jam. Slow and low. Yeah, Slow and low. All right. So while we were doing that, we got hit up with a little uh, super chat. Super chat. Oh, right there. there he is. Paul PC 1974 with the $5 super chat. Appreciate right. you, brother. Cheers, bro. <laughs> then we got we gave a shout out to uh, Vincent McLean, the lean machine. I'm so close to 100 subs. Please help, help all fellow comic collector. Absolutely. Put your link in the description right there, brother. So everybody get over there. CLG Comics. Check them out. Two Brothers Comics, Burke Nasty, Family 54, of course, Lords of Longbox, Barry Gary, all channels that you want to subscribe to. Sure. So we have our assistant, Zoe Zozo's Arena. She's going to help us out. She's going to do the best 
to find out. So Zoe's going to start uh, with the short box. Hey, uh, uh, guys, I got a quick video for uh, our new unboxing. Anybody want to check it out? Yeah, check let's it do out. it. Okay. All right. All right. Zoe with the box. Who's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm Oh God! All right, all so, right. So Zoe's going to tell us what the label is. Yep. Okay. Zoe, remember, don't tell us a grade. Just tell just us. Just tell us what the book is. Okay. You have been so. What this. do you have first, Zoe? Uh, that's stroke number fifty-eight. Yo, this is a big book right now, you guys. <laughs> right off you the bat. Off. Okay, this is my third copy of this. This is death stroke fifty-eight. This is the joke stroke homage. This is my first book. This I got this because of Ryan Comic Eye was talking about it, so I went and I got it. It was really, really clean. I had it double cardboard ready and ready to go. So, Zoe, hand the book over to Roger. Okay. I'm hoping for the 9-8. I've got the 9-4. So what are we starting off with? 9-8. Yeah, oh. baby! The karate chop! The start! Boom! Yeah! Yeah, karate chop! <laughs> yes! I'm telling you, I do it, I do it, I do it! That's a good way to start. Woo! Yes! So happy about that. This is a great cover, you guys. It's so underrated. I need it's hazard so, pay. <laughs> it's so underrated. Joke stroke. It's a it's the homage to the death stroke cover. This is going to look so good next to my number one. Oh man, I am stoked. That is a great way to start. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah. All right, so, so joke stroke the in the house. Um, we have amazing, amazing Spider-Man number three hundred and sixty-five or three sixty-five. First two thousand ninety-nine. Okay. That's my book. That's your book. That's my mine. book. That's another modern. I have mine written down. I don't know what's your I don't know. I don't have mine at all. I lost that a long time ago. So it's a modern. I picked it up. I'm hoping for a 9-8. We'll see, but it's a hard cover. So, Roger, pass it along. Could we go two in a row? Oh, boy. Could we go two in a row? Oh, uh, nine, nine six. It's okay. It's, it's right. okay. Whatever. It's still a good book to have. You know? that's, a tough, that's a tough book to get in a 9-8. Yeah, tough. definitely. First 2099? Yeah, black cover. Uh, probably yeah. one little ding or... Um, you know what I mean? So it's, it is what it is. So who yeah, knows? You know, crooked in the encapsulation. These guys are terrible. You know, yeah, Jesus right there. Yeah. So, all right. So oh, pretty cool with this honey. book, you know, trying to get all the spider yeah. keys <laughs> as we go. So the wrap isn't the best, but yeah, it's weird. It's all spider twenty ninety nine. So, all right, we'll take the nine six. You know, you can't, st I mean, to follow up with two nine eights, my God, I might break the bar in half or, <laughs> or, or Roger. So we got Tom through Dan in the house. There all he right. is. Also, shout out to the 95 people watching us right now. So, but I want you guys to know, this was a novice move by me and Roger. We've Our good friends, Justin and Dave, didn't say, hey, guys, after 25 books, you got to pay for more shipping. Yeah. So, so, we so we did. said 27. So we said 27, right? And I'm sure there's <laughs> it would have been easy enough to pluck two out of there. Wait, yeah. ready? All right, I'll, 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 ask, I'll right. ask the question. How many books can you put on an invoice? 25. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we said 27 and they split it up for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's so, next, Zoe? We're into the big book, Zoe. Um, we have Black Cat number one. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Okay. I think that's mine. That's right? definitely yeah. yours. That's is that the mine. Peter Porker Greg Horn variant? Yeah, that is the Peter Porker Greg Horn. Oh, yeah, boy. An 8 5. <laughs> <laughs> you are looking at. Yeah! Are you effing kidding me right Look now? At that. Yeah, <laughs> he's back. He's back, you, folks. Oh, look at how freaking pretty that is, guys. That is a good one. That's nice. Oh That's my nice. god, I cannot believe I actually got a nine eight on my own with a freaking <laughs> slab book. <laughs> yeah, come on, no, no, no. You gotta be effing kidding me! That's oh my god, I love oh, it. God. That is absolutely pretty. Yeah, that's a great book. Now, what is All your right, I'm done. Remember? I'm done. You're done. Well, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I, I bought this. I think I bought this from either Gary or Double A Comics at our swap. Did you really? I bought this at our swap. Okay. And now I can't and remember who the hell I. Right. Yeah, I don't remember who the hell I bought it from. It was either Gary or Double A. Wow. Shout out, guys. We just hit over 103 yeah. viewers. We are Beautiful. Because Double A was right next to. Yeah, I think it could have been Double A. I definitely bought it at the swap. Nice. See, look at that. All right, right, done. I, I, the I dropped the mic. I'm leaving. That's See you, everybody. Right. <laughs> All right, so All right so what's next? Amazing. Ooh. Uh, which, I don't know. It's, 
That'd that be a is, pot. Silk. Is, yeah, for silk. Oh, that's silk. That's mine. That's yours? I, yeah, I thought I sent it. We sent it okay. uh, to get pressed, but apparently right. I didn't. Yeah, so this is Roger's book. All this right. is silk. For sale? <laughs> Depends. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see it. The nine eight. Yeah! <laughs> you gotta Ooh. be kidding me! Two in a row. Two in a row. Wow. Oh my god! All right, but is that for sale? I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, come on! You kidding me? Two in a row. Two Ooh. in a row. Look I'm at you. Done. You're not. You really got lot, I'm, I spent my load. You're spending your load. All right. You pump chump. Okay. All right. All right, Zoe. Okay. We got two thumbs down. That's awful. But who yeah. cares? You know, it's it's no oh, they're jealous. They're jealous because they can't be part yeah, of it. Yeah, well, it's just finally. Yeah, usually, usually they share my misery. And today, yep. um, I broke your my hand on your bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> right, so what do you got next? Transformers versus the Terminator number one. Yeah, okay. sorry. So these, I, I sent two of these out. These And I had bought two because they're wraparounds front and back. So um, obviously it's the first of two. So we'll see what we get. You can't, you can't stop them. You can only hope to contain them. You've got another yeah! <laughs> three in a row. Wow! All right, now you guys, next. and this is this is a uh, Livio cover, from, I believe. Maybe it's not. Yeah, the bar might get karate chopped in half tonight. Wow! Oh, so if you can see that, and then that's crazy. This is the backside. Now, where did you That's find that? Like, on one of those sites? Yeah, I, I, yeah, they were advertising. I'm like, this is freaking phenomenal. My old Transformers. You got uh, Terminator on there. Alan. Yeah, come on. <laughs> so it's an Alan Quay cover. Okay. All right. Nice. So I sent two of these because I said um, one of them's got to come back. And I, mean, I, mean, I got it. Right I never, never even opened them. Yeah. Uh, it would be very linear if I could hang. It on the wall this way, and then also oh, this way. I see what you're doing. Yeah, we're getting crazy. Right. 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 What do you got next? Um, I don't really know how to say it. Uh, Uncanny X Men number 266. Uncanny X Men 266. This is my book. This is okay. first Gambit. Um, I took a chance on this. This is a book that's been sitting in my collection for, I don't know, 20 plus years. I just sold my 9 2, I think. So I'm gambling that this is better than a 9 2. I don't think it's a 9-8 just because I've had it for so long in a long box um, and ready to go. So, uh, you know what? Anything better than a 9-4, I'm happy. So, what do I got? What am I looking at, Raj? Fuck yeah! 9-8, <laughs> 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 baby! Break the tank! Break the tank! Break the tank! Yeah! Press, Ooh, I didn't expect that. Uncle Frank, <laughs> Uncle Frank did a little work on this, too, so shout out. Oh, wow. Man. Wow. Real quick. Wait, Otto, Otto, you just karate chopped into another channel. Yeah, karate. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to keep. Holy. <laughs> 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 See what happens? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry, I, Chad. I, I, <laughs> so, sorry, Chad. We. <laughs> He's got the portable air conditioner was still just so oh my god, a couple of glue. My brand new wow. ass getting so I, I just I didn't think I didn't think this would come back in oh nine eight. So <laughs> nine eight cabinet. I sold the one. I'm gonna have a heart attack live on YouTube. <laughs> I'm so right over here. <laughs> All right, so Oh my god. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got my first gambit. Oh my god. Holy I shit. I love my bar. I love my bar. Uh, oh, my hand is killing me. Oh, oh I am sweating. <laughs> Six books. Uh, Chad, I want anybody to know if you ever need any video out. editing, bro, just call me up. <laughs> Shout oh, out Chad RCG. We love We're you, brother. Thanks for joining in, man. Shout out. To Chad RCG, <laughs> yes, uh, it's all good fun, and I am definitely sending you a T-shirt for that. Man. Okay, right, all right, <laughs> all right. All right so, what do we got next? Okay, we got X Men number four. All right, all right. So we sent, we sent oh, like, yeah, 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 we, listen to this. So we sent like five of these out. Jason, what's up, buddy? One of them is mine. The rest are autos. Yes. So even if there's only one nine eight, it's mine. Yes. <laughs> I, I already have the nine eight. Yeah, and I've been so. sitting on it. So, but we're gonna hope that all five of them are gonna come back in. All right, 
right, so, so X-Men number four, so, first Omega Red. Zoe, do you want to come and tell us what it is? What? Do you want to come and tell us? So we okay. Yeah, so, ready? Right, so you're going to put her in the line of fire like that? Yeah, no, yeah, like, <laughs> A nine, nine six. six. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Nine six. All right. So nine six Omega Red. Right. That will be for sale at some point. Yep. Or just hold on to it. Who knows? I like Omega Red. We're gonna it's a hold on to four nine six. <laughs> well, we'll see. I hope we don't get four nine six. All right. So that's going in auto. All right. So what's auto. next? Um, this is another X Men number four. All right. Okay. So the so second X Men number four. Let's check All it right. out. So what are we getting here? All right. Nine eight. Nine eight. Yeah. yeah baby. High five. All right. There you go. That's there we go. That's yours. <laughs> Woo! Happy yeah, come on, <laughs> and they're back. We have, made, we have made history here. I have four books on this bar that are nine eights. My God, how long have we been doing this channel? A long time. A long time. A long time. We like, have an entire month. You know, Canada Day was yesterday. Canada Day was yesterday. Maybe this is my present. This is your present. My present. Happy birthday, Canada. Yeah. So, uh, so that? guys, you know, we usually, you know, we usually gamble when we go to either Mohegan Sun or bit, AC. Yeah. Are 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 we going to walk the dog? We might be walking the dog, the dog here. Are you going to walk the dog with the 9 8 the dog right here. All right. All right. So, so what do you next? got next? Another X-Men number four. All right. So, X-Men number well, that's four. That's yours. You put that in your pocket. Don't touch it. All right. Don't touch it. <laughs> you know, All right. Stop looking at it. All right. So, Zoe, so, what do we got, Raj? So, Zoe so, so, and Raj, what are we looking at? We are looking at a... Nine four. Nine four. All right. Oh, okay. I, feel, I feel the step linear coming. Uh, yeah, Give him the step yeah, linear. Right. Here, here comes the cooler. Right here comes the cooler, so that's I don't okay. Know what's going on with that? So, all right, <laughs> this is what it is. So maybe I'll get the whole run. Nine, tough two, luck, nine, tough four, luck nine, for six. you, ever. Right. <laughs> to butcher. All right, so <laughs> Roger never had yeah. a look like this until he hung out with me. Just yeah. saying, appreciate that, man. Right. There's no proof that we hung out on your channel, though, because you had to take that shit down. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, what do you got next? Batman number 89. All right, definitely Ooh. not mine. So, that, this is Uncle Frank's book. This is Uncle Frank's book. So, Uncle Frank, if you're watching right now, your grade is – what are we looking at, Zoe? Nine, nine, eight. nine for Uncle Frank. Nine, nine, eight. Eight. There you go. Bar Uncle Frank. Shot for Uncle Frank. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Did somebody say if it's a Canuck lucky for me? All right, there you go. Yeah, Wesley Campbell uh, from Canada also. There you go. Uncle Frank, you got the 9-8, buddy. That's good, good stuff, for you, man. man. Good for you. Even Uncle Frank not here in a grotto. All right, All right. Zoe, what's next? Lethal Protector? Yes. This is mine. One. All right. Somewhere oh in these boxes, I have the ones that bounce back because you didn't want to submit two books. Yeah, you're right. I did. I did. I did. So yours was much better than mine, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so we didn't here we submit go. yours. We didn't submit mine. And you are looking at a 9-4. <sighs> All right, all right, all right. Brought back down to earth, folks. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, this, maybe this is yours. Yeah, no, I, okay. <laughs> I'd love to see the graders no time. Look at that thing. <clears throat> that's, that's nice Look at that thing. You know, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe it's Scotty Pippen on the back. Is that what? Yeah, maybe he's screwing things up. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you have a comic book that has Pippen instead of Jordan? Yeah, on there it. you go. Uh, don't know. All right. All right. Well, listen. You're all right. Zoe. So we... Most of the time, nine four is your highest grade. Right. Soon to be uh... at an auction near you. All right. Yeah. All right. right, Zoe. What are we looking Soon at? Soon to be at an auction near you. X Men number four. All right. Oh, so this is the X Men number four. This is so, your nine eight. This is my nine eight. So I, have, this is your nine I do not have a nine eight. So I said. No, that's not the last. You have two there, right? Um. Yeah, the nine six nine four. Right, and I have the nine eight you here. Nine, I thought eight. we sent five, so. Oh, we might have sent five. I don't know. My God. Sorry. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't keep good records. Ready? Okay. Let's do it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, I got another one. I got another one. Come on. Yeah. I love that because now I don't feel bad about taking the night. No, it's okay. It's okay. There I mean, go. they probably would have felt bad at like it. Love to see this book climb in price. Love to see this character come to a big screen. Just <laughs> absolutely uh, love this book right here. Awesome. Great news. Great, what great news. He's a hair on the goddamn thing. Right. <laughs> Next to Scotty Pippen. Okay. <laughs> I hate Scotty Pippen. All right. So what do we got? So how What's many books next? we got left? We have, including this one. Gotta be Gotta halfway, be right? right? About halfway. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Wow, we are cooking with gas right now. My hands broke. So What's next? Rogers, yeah. <laughs> okay. We have another transformer. All right. So here's right. the linear. This is it. Here we go. This is linear. I may break my finger on this. All right. Bar. There we go. Now. If it's linear, you got to when you, once you display it, yeah, front you got to take a picture. Oh, you yeah. got to show this off, okay? Because this is really dope, okay? Zoe, so, 
What are we looking at? I'll take it right here. Show me. And you're going to have one hell of a display. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Right Are you kidding me? Yeah, come on. Me right now. I, don't I think mean. CZC watches our show and realizes they've been crapping on me for fucking three years. Really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Family show that they're finally <laughs> making up for. This is so unbelievable. You say. Oh, my God. Yeah. I absolutely love this book so much, too. So now you got to get it to display. Oh, yeah, man. linear set. I gotta love yeah, it. I'm all set. like that. All right. Yeah, really. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, what do we got next? Star, Star Wars, Darth Maul, number one. Uh, oh, my serious. book right here. My book. Not a significant book, but just a cool Darth Maul cover. Uh, huge fan of Darth Maul, you know, from episode one and everything like that. So, I broke his head. <laughs> yeah, was was on the the chair, right? I think I have homeowners. My God. So I'm hoping for the 9-8 to put it in a display, but I don't really care because it's Darth Maul. It's part of my PC, and it's a really cool cover. So, so let's see what whatever, we are we going to get here. We got right. a 9-6. 9-6. It's okay. I'm yeah. happy with it. I think it's the look back. At this. Oh, that's a cool-looking book. Yeah, yeah, that's a really cool cover. You know, love it. It's going to go in a display. Austin Power you screwed know, it up. Dark Horse. <laughs> you know, two different covers exist, one by Drew Sturgeon and one photo cover. So, yeah, so – very cool. Not really concerned about the grade right now. All right, awesome. awesome. Thank the you. Bar is a lot sturdier than it looks. The bar is a lot sturdier. What do you got next, so? Edge of Spider Verse number two. Ooh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's <laughs> got <laughs> one of those for sale? <laughs> whoa. It's your other Uncle Frank's. Uh, it's a good call. It's not mine. All right, then it's Uncle Frank's. All right. All right. <laughs> so Uncle Frank's that in a big book. Uncle Frank, if you're watching. Let's see what you're getting. What's yeah. Uncle Frank getting? Nine, nine six. six. There you go. Okay. All right. Still a nice book at a nine six. There she is. Yeah. We think that this is the next one to pop, right, fellas? Pop. It's already popping. Well, yeah. pop. it's popping. popping. So yeah, it is on and popping. All right. So Uncle Frank's got, got a nine Frank's eight and a nine, nine six. six. Okay. Yeah, that's not mine. So. Yeah. I think I have uh, yep. one left. All right. What do you got, Zoe? So? Year of the Villain, Hell Horizon number three. Yep. Ooh. This is uh, either Frank's. mine or Uncle Frank's. Uh, no, this is definitely Uncle Frank's because I don't own this book. First so, punchline. Hot, hot book. And he's got a 9 6. All right. So Uncle Frank's got nine, the 9 six. 6. He's got Uncle Frank's with the 9 6. He's got a 9 8, 9 yeah. 6, 9 6. Very linear. All right. There you go, Uncle Frank. There's another one of your books. All right. All right so so nine, eight, or the not, Happy Hour Sports just said the 9 8 Roger Table Pounds. Okay. <laughs> it's one time only. Yeah, one time, right? yeah. First time, one time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Zoe. First time, long time. Incredible Hulk number 449. All right, this is mine. This, this is first yours. Thunderbolts. This is Thunderbolts. This book was, what are you thinking? I mean, I don't know. You know I don't know. know what to think anymore. You don't know what to think anymore. I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> I mean, show me, brother. Just, uh -oh. There's a nine in it, but it's uh, uh, a nine, nine four. four. Nine four. Somebody remembered me when they got to this one. Yeah, the worm is turns. <laughs> That's all right. Soon to be at an auction area. Right. But that book, yeah, went through a bunch of hands, right? But still, you know. I think I, bought, I also bought this at the SWAT. Did you? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Nice. All right, Zoe, Zoe, Zoe's Arena, what's next? What do we got, Zoe? We have another, an amazing Spider-Man number 365. Okay. Hey. So this is me again. First 2099. Uh, first, okay, Definitely. so this was so another black cover. I sent it in. Uh, the first one was a 9-6. What am I going to end up with this one? A 9-6 again. Gee, I'm telling you, the black covers are tough, fellas. That's a tough one. That's a real yeah. tough one. Okay. It's between the cover because it's, it's it's a thick book plus the hologram itself. If there's, yeah. if there's any like uh, scratches or anything, that's what happens too. I don't know. You're right. Absolutely. So who knows? Yep. I'll have to check it out. But there we go. It's going to stay in a PC. I might have actually put two or three in there. So we're going to find out. So nine six. You know, it can't be nine eights, but you know what? Uh -oh. It is, man. It's fun stuff. That's what Uncle Frank and I like to say. It's equity. So yeah. There okay. you go. Here we go. All right, Zoe. What's next? Omega Man, man Number Three. First Lobo. We got another First Lobo? First Lobo. Not first oh, First Lobo. Okay, first okay. Lobo. Is this yours or mine? It's not mine. It's yours. All right, this is mine. All right, First Lobo. And speaking of Lobo, <laughs> I just bought another Funko Pop. <laughs> so it goes along with this 9-8 you're about to let's get. Let's go. Let's hope this is a 9-8. Huge fan of Lobo. Always love this character. I'm thinking 9-4, 9-6. 
Uh, Rocky did not press these, Anthony, but we took a chance. Yeah, we um, just sent them We out. just sent them in to get them done. Um, Uncle Frank took care of his books and maybe one or two of my moderns. But, um, no, these, uh, Rocky, these were just the moderns, and we wanted to get them sent Especially in. Especially the first ones that I sent basically came to me, never came out right. of the package. Right, and it, what happened was, was we wanted to get these books out because the turnaround time on moderns were so quick, and we wanted to get some stuff. And the fact that they're the brand collection. new, I'd rather have less hands handling. Yeah, agreed, agreed. All right. All we right. got up. Nine, Nine two. two. Oh, what a hose job! Wow. <laughs> Is this what it feels like on the other side? <laughs> on the other side. How does it feel? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, at least I got a Funko Pop. I think I think you need to find you need to get the Graders and Old Time yeah. to figure out what the hell's wrong. Right. That there thing looks absolutely clean. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, the back's a little dirty. Just try yeah. maybe. Maybe to try. The back's yeah. got some. The back's a little bit dirty. We always hate to think that, that the back is what knocks it down from a nine four nine six. Okay. So what do we got next? Young Avengers number one. Ooh. Ooh. Not yours. Not mine. Uncle That's Frank's book. All right. Nine, let's see what so. Uncle Frank is pulling off. Uncle he's Frank, been, uh, he's uh, been hitting a 9-6. Ooh, he hit a 9-0 oh. on this. Okay. Uncle nine, Frank, oh. we don't know. Maybe the black cover. Frank. Knocks you down or something like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, Moonbase Alpha. You're right. Only near mid minus. Yeah. Actually, okay. there are a lot of spine ticks on this. On that one? Yeah. Okay. But still, hot book. Right, one, you know. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Okay. Right on. All right. All right. Still a good book. Zoe. Zoe, what you got? Oh, um, Deathstroke the Terminator number one. Not mine. Sure. This is mine. I don't even know why I sent this in. <laughs> oh, you know why I sent it in? Because I sent in the, whatchamacallit, the, the joke, joke stroke joke to joke. match this. I have one with a yellow. I have a 9-8 yellow. I'll be like, I think I've used all my mojo up right now. Oh, my God. I've used all my force. So... Uh, what are we looking at? The nine six. nine six. Okay, but you know what? I, right. I think I got the first joke stroke. I got a bunch of them. So anyway, so another book in a nine six. Happy to have it. Um, cool book for my collection. So, sure. Um, I actually think this was from a box heroes. So uh, they took it right out, and so it's okay. Nine six. Love it. Huge fan of Deathstroke. Awesome. Is that the last one? No. Oh, okay. Like uh, still so going. So I, am got, so I am paying my daughter overtime for this. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, another year of the villain, Hello Rising number three. All right. Okay. Wow. Another copy for Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank. Let's see. Yeah, his other one was. Nine eight. A nine eight. There you go, Ooh. Frank. Nine eight. Out for you, buddy. Karate chopping at there you home. Go. Very nice. Very nice. Good, good. There we go. Karate chop for Uncle Frank. There Where's the go. karate chop, Justin? Oh, it's coming. I'm Hold sorry. <laughs> yeah, come on. Nice. For you, Good Uncle for Frank. You, Uncle you got Frank. your 9-8, buddy. Congrats. Great stuff. All right, Zozo. So, so right. What is next? Punisher War Warzone number one. All right, Punisher War Warzone. This is mine. This came right out of the box, Heroes. Uh, don't own this. Well, I've owned multiple copies of the books. We can all find it. Why I wanted to slab it, because I you know, I love the Punisher as a character. Um, been watching him on Daredevil and stuff like that. Just a real cool character. Love it. Um, don't know what to think. But I'll do a nice karate chop if I'm getting a nine eight on it. Yeah, there we go, the karate chop again. Woo! That's beautiful. All right, nice. nice. Yeah, karate. No, no, no. I want to keep. Holy. <laughs> 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 I love that so much. <laughs> oh my god, that's how far. <laughs> I gotta send them all sorts of stickers and shit. Yeah, really. You, guys, you want to die too long? Uh, okay? yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> Look at him. It showed him back, though. Oh, my Look at God. Look at that. Punisher right there. <laughs> All right, Zoe. What do we got next? Um, Uncanny X-Force number one. Oh, oh good book right I, here. I, I showed this book off. <laughs> my book. Uncanny X-Force number one, the J. Scott Campbell. Very good. Oh, cool. what are we doing right now? What no. you know, I, you know, I can't let all you guys take all the J. Scott Campbell stuff. Sorry, I can't man. let you take it. So this is a book. Um, Justin, is that it? Yes, it is. It is a caption. Not as cool as your Cap Shield Comic Forge. Definitely not <laughs> as cool as yours. But um, all right. So this is a book that I had. I bought, I've been sitting on it for a long time. Um, I got I got this book when I first started getting back into the cons. I really loved it. I paid a couple bucks for it. I didn't understand why, but then I started talking to Justin and everybody like that. So it's a J. Scott Campbell. It's the gray cover, I think. It's a red cover. The, oh, the red cover, the red cover, but they're the <clears> gray shirts. <throat> yes. Okay. So Raj, am I getting a nine eight variant out of this? 
Fuck you. Chops. Sorry, family show. Family show. <laughs> karate chops. Killing it. Thank you. Yeah, karate chops. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What a what a what a run going on in the grotto right now. It's almost Ooh. like it's almost like Justin and Dave submitted these. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Look at that! So yeah, Jay That's Scott Campbell, I absolutely man. love it. Nice, uh, Brian Daniel with a five dollar super chat. Thank you, brother. All right, awesome. We're killing it. All right, Zozo. What we got next? Amazing Spider-Man number one. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, what is it? Oh, the Stan Lee Dicko? Like, is that what, what is it? Yeah. Tell me what's it say on the side. Uh, no, like, is there something written special? Probably first. No, so. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, we got to see whose book this is. I don't even know. So we got to take a pause here, fellas. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's John Romita cover. Oh, it's, it's a Mary. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yours. yours. It's Mary. Okay, this is yeah. big. Yeah. This is big to end the show. This oh, is my ending, third right? ending the show. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. And we're not ending the show. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm all, I'm all, I gotta take a minute. I gotta calm down. You can't just end the show like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. We got a lot more stuff to do, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I bought the 9.6. I have another raw one. I blame all of this on short box birdie. This is like the Romina cover with like the Sinister 10. Nah, I know what this is. It's actually you know it Amazing is. Spider-Man 802 is when they started double numbering. Yes, them. the double numbers and stuff like that. So auto so playing in the high ratio game. This is a one one hundred. So cool. And you guys know I'm a Romina fan. I'm a Sinister Six fan. <laughs> and just all right. Anthony Debo, thank you very much uh, for another super chat. We're rolling in it. So I've got the nine six. Did I upgrade or did I go down? Roger, what am I doing? Yeah, I did it! 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 Beautiful, my name is. Yeah, come on! I want to keep. Is that for sale? <laughs> Not for sale. NFS. <laughs> that, this is definitely NFS. The nine six might be uh, FS. No. Uh, <laughs> Everybody wants to know who's the person falling. <laughs> it's a good friend of the show, Chad RCG. Shout out, Chad. Shout out, Chad, Chad RCG. Chad RCG. If you don't follow him, sub up to him. Chad RCG. Uh, he does a lot of raffles. He's a lot of great content. YouTube. Uh, He's on Orphans every Friday night. So, yeah. yeah, so Justin, what is Chad RCG is on every Friday? Every Friday night he does auctions. <clears throat> he also is claims the king of the mystery boxes. So yeah. a lot of good stuff. He just did over our channel, friend of the uh, YouTube comic uh, community God, and a dude, great guy. So sick. sub him up. That's Please. a gorgeous book. Sub that is a gorgeous least we could do for I when Pat Howe when Short Box Birdie showed this off here, I was like, dude, you got this was like a year ago. I've been after it. So I think I have three copies into it. So all right. You know, you know what you need now, right? You need, the, you need the matching Sinister Six slab stand, right? I mean oh, I do, absolutely. 100 percent 100 percent So I'm gonna reach out to Slab Stand, get an order it with them. All right, so what do we got next? Uh Punisher War Zone number one. All right, all right so, so I, did, I did do another Punisher War Zone because why not gamble? One two is always better than one. Did I hit the triple Lindy on this? If I get it, another night eight, right. baby. Yo, Woo! this is nuts. Punisher War Zone. So maybe I'll do a Roger hit, if you don't mind. Front and back, side to side. There you go, baby. Nice display down in the grotto. The, the beautiful thing about having a wraparound cover when yep. you buy two of them. Okay, awesome, awesome. Awesome, my God. Is that the last one? Yes. Okay, and right. it is? So, it is the X-Men number four. All right, so the last Omega Red. The last Omega Red. So here I we go. So we have a nine four, nine six, and nine eight today on those. Yes. No? Yeah. Two nine eights. We have two nine uh. eights. Two nine eights, a nine six, a nine four, and the last one is another nine another eight. Nine eight. eight. Woo! Wow. Soon to be at an auction there. Right. Yeah, come on. <laughs> this is nuts. Really nine eights, right? Can, here, we, right? can we get a nine eight tally, please? No. My we get lord. A tally? We'll absolutely give you a nine eight tally. <laughs> so twenty seven books. My God. And shout out to the 120 people watching right now. Thank you, guys. We really, really appreciate it. So oh, these guys. Dave, these guys are like us, right? They're trying yeah. to be like us with these modern books, trying to get nine eights. I have five. Yeah. Speaking, speaking so of five modern books. Five out of seven. Nice. Who's a, math, who's a math guy? Tell me what my percentage was on that. <laughs> five out of seven? Yeah. 
So you're seventy ish percent, right? Yeah. And before like this, I was one percent. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out, Wild Bill! Thank the you, Wild Bill. Dollars super chat. Thank you, Sarah. I, Wild Wild Bill. Bill. I think we're gonna need it for my health insurance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm definitely gonna have to. Have All this right, so out. we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus five. Yeah, so 17, seventeen out of twenty-seven 27. books. Um, yeah, ben. pretty good. Came back. So, good odds, right there. Did we just bust our nut for the whole year? Oh my god, we're done. We're done. We're not right. submitting anymore. <laughs> sure, I think we're done. We're done. Done. Jeez. I can't believe this. This is this has definitely been an amazing unboxing for me because usually I'm so freaking disappointed. I just want to walk away from the show. Hmm. Jeff the Geek's got a good question. What? Yeah. Which books were you the were you most excited about in those? Go ahead, Raj. I'm making the most amount of noise. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Greg Horn. That is that, that is pretty nice. That that version, very because you don't see it anywhere. You know, I I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. These are gonna be displayed before that. <laughs> the uh, Terminator ones, front and back. I mean, the Transformers. But that Greg Horn, the fact that I've never seen it, someone at the swap had it. I bought it, sent it in, unpressed, and it came back at 9.8. Yep. Blown me away. Awesome, awesome. So I would say I am most excited about the Gambit 9.8 that came back, the Deathstroke 9.8 that came back. That's unbelievable. That and the, uh, the Spider-Man Sinister 10 book. That both came back to nine eights because that I've been working hard for those. That X Men's unbelievable. And that X Men man again. I bought that like I didn't buy that off the rack. I bought that like when I was buying comics sporadically, so it's just been sitting in my long box, and I didn't expect it to come back to nine eight. So what a great it's good stuff, great man. Uh, man. And Uncle Frank did well too. So we'll settle up with you, Uncle Frank. And boy, Justin, I think we need to take a break. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. We can uh, check out another word from our sponsor. Okay. sleep tonight between all the karate chops between the uh the comic crawl that we did and everybody with their super chats and everybody hanging out with us tonight man just a great way to uh to start this fourth of july weekend so uh that joke joke <laughs> <laughs> all right absolutely so i will definitely um some of these things you guys are going to be part of the inventory for when we do our next um auction not any type two. We've got some other things planned, so we are planning on it, and we always like to go a little bit ahead of each other, or but talk about it. But there will be some stuff going on, so great, great. And if anybody see pigs flying, it's yes, I got five nine eight. Right, exactly. So <laughs> you, can fly, you can take Roger. So Stampede, what's up, buddy? There so uh, Justin, I've done enough talking. Why don't you? Uh, you want to go over some of the stuff you picked up? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go really over my buys from the comic crawl because I'm going to do videos, pretty much going to separate them out, but I definitely have some mail calls, show off a mystery box and something else that's, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, collecting. Yeah. So throw myself on the big screen. So first up, I guess we'll go with the mail call. So this was a buy because you know what? It's somewhat FOMO, but at the same time, I have a couple copies, but you know, when you can get them cheap enough. This is Spider Gwen number 24. Gwen Stacy becomes Gwenum in a 9.8 signed and remarked Ooh. by Robbie Rodriguez right there. Nice. That's awesome. So really cool. Showing off Gwenum. Uh, I do have a couple copies. Raw first, Prince, second Prince, all the J. Scott Campbells. I think I have two of the J. Scott Campbells in 9.8, and they're signed by him as well. So really cool. So I picked that up. 
uh, online. And then Tuesday night on the NY Warriors auction, someone I was bagging and boarding some of my books from the comic crawl, and someone said, oh, I have a Star Wars mystery box, and my ears lit up. And I decided, you know what? He said, for 300 bucks, and I said, you know what? I He said, three slabs. They were all nine-eighths. I took a gamble. I knew one of the books was, I thought was one of the books was going to be in there. So show you off some of the raw books that I got first. So uh, the raw books in there was, one was a Star Wars Age of Rebellion Darth Vader. Just a really nice. cool cover. Uh, next up, this is actually really good. I like this. This is done by Terry Dotson on the cover. Age Ooh, of Rebellion. Terry Dotson. So I really like that one, man. Terry Dotson. Good as gold. That's that's a good question. <laughs> oh well, yeah, believe me, it's coming. No, it's coming. Uh, Star Wars number seven, the old Marvel series. Uh, you got a cool. I like this. is This is always a nice cover. Star nice. Wars thirty five. That is pretty cool. Uh, you have Star Wars number fifty six. This is uh, first appearance of Lando's android. Uh, I don't know his name. Unfortunately, I forget it, but. You know, cool book there. Uh, Star Wars 70. Nice. And then the last of the raw books was Star Wars 88. Darth Vader is dead. Long live the Death Thrower, Dark Lord. And then the slab. So he said he had three 9.8s. I took a gamble because I figured one of the books had to be the book that I've been hoarding. So first up is a Darth Maul number one. Oh. And this may go with something that I recently picked up at the uh, <laughs> on the comic crawl. <laughs> Who did that cover? Uh, this one's done by Rod Reese. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Comic Forge. <laughs> yeah, man. You, if you weren't on the uh, NY Warriors auction, uh, so my second slab. This is Darth Vader number one. This is the second series. Nice number one. That's very nice. Yeah, very very linear with the Darth Maul put yeah. right next to each other. Justin, question from Emerald. Uh, do you have any Star Wars Grails, 35-cent variants, et cetera? No, et cetera. you know what's funny? I don't even own a Star Wars one from the Marvel series. Yeah. I just do go. a lot of the Dark War stuff and this modern uh, Marvel stuff. And last but not least, again, I took a gamble on the $300 price tag, and I and you know what's funny? So here it is. We're in a group chat, me and the other, the other three men, and I was like, I guarantee – this book is in there before he opens it up. And what was it? Boom. Oh, yeah. oh, Darth Vader, number one, first appearance of Dr. Afra. Uh, and what's funny is I bought three copies now in about six days. I had this one from the um, mystery box. If you guys saw my latest haul video, I picked up one last this past weekend on Saturday. And I bought one from Roger that I got on Monday at the comic crawl at, on, uh, up in Connecticut that I won from our auction not too long ago. I'm going to send my good luck and say that's going to be a 9-8 when you submit it. I, I am going to be submitting it very soon with the rest of my uh, Star Wars stuff. But, you know, as they've asked, what else am I collecting? I have gone down the rabbit hole, as oh, you can see. Oh, so down the rabbit hole. <laughs> I've it's gone such down an accurate the, depiction. Yes, it, it truly is. I, I wish I could put my face on there. <laughs> but... Uh, is that Gary falling in the hole? <laughs> no, that's that's me falling down the hole. Wait, the latest, what? I can't believe this. This is my newest thing that I'm collecting. And actually, I should say the first thing I collected. Um, I guess I'm gonna start grading these things because I went out oh. and bought a sealed copy of Welcome. Oh, <laughs> Star Wars Welcome, Night friend. Okay, Xbox. I <laughs> finished that's one of the very few video games for I finished. The, for the love of God. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. Go. Completely sealed. It will go to WADA with some older games that I have. So yeah. Oh uh, again, that's where I'm at, guys. <laughs> there you go. Dow the rabbit hole you go. <laughs> Holy Too funny. That's that, crazy. That's crazy. Knights, right. Knights of Ren. I, I literally sent him a text message. I was like, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> And also, j just to piggyback on Justin, oh no! Oh my no. God, another game! <laughs> oh, no. That's a game. Uh, this is just complete in a box. It's not sealed. So, gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Justin, where did you buy that mystery box? I don't remember that. Uh, on the NY Warriors auction on Tuesday. Uh, shout out to Jimmy doing deals on Instagram. Uh, he's actually a New Jersey guy. He lives up in Bergen County. So it was funny when Joker M twenty one said, "Oh, you know, he's another New Jersey guy." So what I did was. Uh, I bought it on Tuesday. 
Wednesday, I texted him. I said, hey, uh, you know, I'm going to head up the shop. So we met up at the shop. Well, he dropped off the box because we were just, it was just not the right times, but he dropped off the box at this comic shop. I ended up picking up the box and I ended up spending some money and I just did a haul video. It'll be uploaded this weekend. So be sure to check out that video as well. Nice. So it was, And I got some good buys from there too. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, awesome. So good stuff. Down the rabbit hole you go. We've got, we had tons of stuff to show off now. I've got a bunch of raw books. Um, I just did send a 25 book invoice to CGC. Waiting to hear back from that. Uh, we've got some stuff at Rocket. Rocket's been working on that stuff. And uh, we've got that going on. And also, so I did pick up three slabs. And I will show you what those three slabs are. Now, one of the slabs was a big upgrade for me. One of the ones was a, one of the books that, one of the books that I picked up was a book that I had as a kid. And I had multiple copies of it. And I was so reluctant to buy it. Because I paid sixty cents for it as a kid, I paid a dollar eighty for three copies. Where those copies are now, I have no idea. <laughs> and I paid like a hundred times, like a hundred times. Bottom more. of a guinea pig cage. Yeah, it just it's terrible <laughs> where the where the books went. So, um, and then the other, I don't even know what the other slide was. Um, That's it. Oh, and the other. What is that? Everybody thinks I've I've just totally gone the rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. Shout out to Uncle Frank. Great show, hey, fellas. Yeah. Great grades on your books, man. Nice, son. Nice. Congrats. So, um, so I have my three books right here that I'm going to show off. So this was a book that I got from JNS Collectibles. This was an upgrade that I knew about. I planned it. It was a big purchase for me. So this was the middle of the trip. So when I went to Sarge's, I passed on a book that I really should have bought that somebody else bought out from under me, and I really should have, but I was so petty scared because I just dropped – couple bucks big bucks you know a couple ben franklin so but i'm happy that i upgraded this book my one of my favorite mutants um i i went from an eight five off white pages x-men 101 to a nine two nice. white Ooh. page nice. first phoenix which is oh, yeah. the highest grade i want in this book i mean sure i would love it in a nine eight but it's it's okay nine twos in the x-men's i'm happy with white pages just a great book white so page, jns that's collectible sure. Uh, definitely hooked me up with that. That's now, a beautiful book. It yeah. is. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And then while I was at, oh my God, while I was at Sarge's, yeah. I bought a Funko Pop to yeah. go with it. <laughs> One of the things, and I would have loved to have seen a video capture this. So as we're all waiting for everybody to cash out, everybody starts to realize that there's Funkos and there's toys. And one at a time, we're talking each other into buying these things. Yes. Yep. We're shaving if it wasn't for Guy and, uh me no probably. Yeah, Dave, <laughs> that's it. The two of you talked me into buying this carnage statue, right. you know, figure. I'm like, I'm looking at you know, you want to just get it. You know, you want it. So everyone went over there. I'm like, just buy it, dude. It matches your thing. You got to get it. Yeah, right. You know, and then Gary went over there and he bought the Thor fighting Thanos. Yeah. And he's like, oh, should I get that? I'm like, absolutely, right. you should get that. And somebody was like, I think. <laughs> Uh, when Roger tried tried to talk to me to talk to him to talk him like out of buying it, I'm like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not fucking doing that. I was like, like no. Me, yeah, right, I said, Dave, tell me not to buy it. He's like, I'm not telling you that. You should get it. Well, thank it's you. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, fit, it fits with what you collect, man. Come on, yeah, yeah, do oh, it. it totally does, right? Because we're we're I'm an accessory whore. We're accessory yeah. whore. But then somebody was like, I think Jada Butcher was like, Oh, that's a sick Lobo. I'm like, Yeah, but I'm buying it. <laughs> <laughs> so I the there you go. Now yeah, the, the, the comic forge. Just buy it, Raj. There you go. Just buy it, Raj. That's just right. You know, you, you, you want you guys it all, all day. Too. Just buy it. You guys right. sucked him into buying the um the shield, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so, right. So comic forge. Yeah, yeah, it was a Gary who talked him into buying the shield. <laughs> so do you do you guys mind if I show off something real quick? I went and grabbed please it. Do, please do. All right, so let, let's just real quick go back to me. So, guys, uh, as you know, we went to the comic crawl, and I really don't want to show off all my books. I just want to show off something really cool. Uh, there was this cool statue that uh, I saw had a $200 price tag, and after all the stuff that I was buying from this comic shop, I said, well, how much do you want for this statue? So, and the guy goes, and the Comic Forge, he'll tell you, he goes, 20 bucks. And well, hold on. I, the statue was put away on the side, you know, it was yeah. It was it was hidden away. It was dusty. Area it was not to be mentioned. Yes, uh, and basically, so the, when the guy said twenty dollars, I said absolutely, and Oof. that is what I bought. That's so sick. Sick. Unbelievable. So the only reason why it's twenty dollars is the front saber is uh, it's there. I just have to put it in, but the back piece was broken, but it's easily fixable. But you know what? For twenty dollars for this gentle giant, 
Darth Maul. That's going to go with my 9.8 Darth Maul. Yeah, I think it will. Just, yeah, just a little bit. I tried to make a deal with him. It didn't even happen. Look at how big this thing is, man. This thing is huge. <laughs> sick. We're, sick. We're all about accessorizing here on 3MIV. We, oh God, we really are, you guys. You know, <laughs> We've become a, it's, it's crazy. So, all right. So and what's crazy is, real, and real quick, on the way home, I was saying to Ro uh, and Roger, you really don't, you weren't in the car, so it was me, Dave, and Otto. And I just, I kept saying to myself, I have no place to put it <laughs> down here. I don't have any more room to throw another statue. I really don't know where it's going. Yeah, find so I was trying to sell it to Otto for forty dollars right. after <laughs> I just paid twenty dollars. Right, Guy Ford, Ford is right next to us, and Uncle, I think Uncle Frank was with us too. The car is real quiet, and we're almost at the restaurant that we're gonna. We're almost finishing up. I'm taking a left turn, and there's like that awkward silence. And I looked at him, and I go. I'll give you 30 bucks right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that didn't happen. So, anyway, yeah. so Justin got the great deal. So the next book I got was a book that I was planning on getting. I knew they had it. Uh, it's part of a set. So now I have all three of these because it's a very important storyline um, in the Thor world. And it's a very important storyline for me as a kid. So I had 337 as a 9.8. I had 338 as a 9.8. Um, and now I have. 339 as a 9.8. Nice. The first appearance of Thorbringer. Nice. So now, if that's not linear, yeah, right. you know what I mean? There you go. So I got all three of those. I can't wait to display all of them. Uh, got a couple raw copies, but you know what? I got it well under 100 bucks. And what do we say, guys? Got to do it. Gotta nine, do eight. it right? You can get a 9.8 modern slab for 100 bucks. Yeah, Bye. go for it. You know what I mean? So great book. <laughs> Walt, Walt, Walt Simonson at his finest. Storebreaker, Better A Bill. Uh, got a comment here from uh, uh, Justin Harris. I just got back into comics. I can't get an accessorized my collection. Oh, you will. You, you will. will. Just 100%. Wait. Oh, just wait. Just wait. You know, it starts with a slab stand. Yeah. And then it starts with, you know, the mini cars. Mini you go cars. next to it. <laughs> then it pops. starts with the pops. The statue. And then you get a statue. And then you buy the, the water games, yeah. right? Ah, uh, the game's on. Yeah, okay. Or, or you buy, you could buy cute little things like this for sure. Yeah. 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 yeah so I, I have, little, I have little, the Thanos one. <laughs> I have a little death stroke one in my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the last book is a Spider Man key. It's a modern Spider Man key. I had it as a kid and I just was so disgusted because I'm a hoarder. And more importantly, as a kid, I don't know who I sold this to or why I got rid of this book, but I remember buying it off the rack. I remember having it, and I was at Sarge's. The guy gave me a phenomenal, phenomenal price. And this is a book that we all talk about, about buying a book to upgrade, yeah. you know, getting a book at a good price, selling it for a decent price, find me upgrade for it. Right. I don't think I'll ever own a 9.8 of this because I just – it's not something I'm going to go after. Well, you don't don't poo poo it. You I'm not going to poo poo it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to poo poo it. But yeah. I do have this book in my collection. Maybe a, a nine price. nine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I showed this off for my Throwdown Thursday. I just picked up uh, the first appearance of the Hobgoblin, Amazing Spider-Man two thirty eight. This does have the tattoos. It's an eight five. It's it was a great price. I couldn't pass it up. Nice. I didn't want to have FOMO I have on one it. of these. I need to submit. You know. Yeah. So just happy to have that. So, um, hey man, do do what I did. I mean, I, I started out at a seven five. I yeah, have a nine. Let's talk about that, Dave. Yeah. So you were actually dude, you were kind of like the the sensei for me with this book. So, yeah. what did you start off at, and what do you have now? Yeah, I, I started off at a seven five. Um, pressed the hell out of it. Sent it off. You know, figured that was that was going to be good for now. And you know, with with all the other Spidey books, kind of you know going upwards that one's kind of stayed the same so it's been easier to kind of, tra kind of trade up so i went from a seven five to an eight five i went from an eight five to a nine two and then i went from a nine two to a nine four and that's where i am right now Dave, so. this, in this book the tattoos are like stapled in there with the spine yes they're in the they're in the middle of the book there's so had, they would have to be ripped out to get removed yeah, well, right, I'm about to pull mine out. there's a there's a white there's a white cardboard piece of paper and the tattoos are stapled to that piece of cardboard. Okay. So, you know, you just have to check that they're there. All right, I'll yeah, have to check. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, right, right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, all right, guys. So, seventy minutes. Is there anything else we wanted to talk about at all, fellas? I mean, we've kind of kicked it left and right. Um, I want to show these. 
Oh, all right. So Justin, uh, Dave's got a uh, Roger. I can't even talk right now. Yeah. Roger's got more. <laughs> so excited. My second. This is my two B stop. Yes, this was uh, two B stop. Two at B the, stop. At right. the, uh, the after garage. Jeremiah's, we went to JNS's collectible right. private showing. So DC Comic presents Superman and Green Lantern. Love it. There it is. Oh, you bought that? Yeah, I made a deal oh. for the two books. Damn. Let, let me tell you guys, Roger was struggling standing was, at this wall. I he had, was like, which one do I, I buy? I think I had this one in my mind. It was which Spidey key I was going to go with. Okay. Yeah. Dave's like, you were struggling over those Spidey keys. I said, oh, my God, I was so bad. Well, hold on, Dave. You could see him perseverating over this? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. my God. Uh, he no, said he, it to me right there. He looked he looked flustered. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm like, do you want me to take one of those off your hands? Like, what, what, what are you doing? doing? <laughs> I knew that I, I wanted this book, but I wanted to pair it up with a Spidey key. Gotcha. I just couldn't pick which one I right. wanted. Because JNS get. Collectibles does a good deal. Yes. Really make a good deal so with I think bundle. they give you a better deal when you try to pair books up. Okay. Yeah, bundle it so, up. So what I, you know what I ended up going with? Because I've never owned it. So I've never owned this book. And I ended up going with the Maze of Spider Man 135, second appearance of the Punisher. Boom. Oh, that's an awesome that's cover, man. Love Make that one. Make Iconic one cover. I've never owned it. So I was like, you know what? After, like you said, Dave noticed it. He's like, you look like you are struggling. Really? <laughs> I could not decide which one I wanted to go with. Okay. And but you knew you were getting something. I knew I was getting. I said, and I told Dave, I said, I'm not paying more than this. And I said, what are you going to give me? And that was the amount he told me. <laughs> so yeah. I made the deal. I didn't have to screw around. So that I was think, top 2A. Okay. I think 135 is also third tarantula, I believe. So you get, uh, a, you get, you get a twofer there, I I'm, think. Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm one of those people that will argue with CGC all day because in 134, the first appearance of tarantula, the very yeah, last right. page that's, that's is the... a giant picture of the Punisher Saying Spidey, I'm back. So why is that not the second appearance? No, good question. Good question. Right. I remember. So that's what I remember. Yeah. I said to you, you said you've never owned this. And I said, No, you did own this. And no. here we are arguing about your collection. Yeah. You're like, dude, I know it's in my collection. No. I'm like, so no, but CGC says this is the second appearance of the Punisher. There you go. But if you fine. look in 134, which is the first appearance of the tarantula, the very last page, it's not a cameo, it's full page of the Punisher, and he's talking. It's Spidey, I'm back. Yep. So okay. I don't know how they figure that out. So. All right. <clears throat> and then the last one, I did a two for at our last stop. This is a... I've never seen this. No, I know. Savage Dragon number 145. This is President Barack Obama versus Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> they made the cover look like it's been ripped apart and yeah, like, like it should be a 1.0. But this is a 9.8 WonderCon edition eric larson uh art so and eric larson and eric larson did the cover WonderCon exclusive and this thing i i, I found it at that sarge's thing. in that back area i've never seen that, that that's the, pretty cool boxes that are supposed to be wall boxes. this thing is amazing yeah look at the back of it savage dragon very cool look that's really cool that's yeah. pretty cool yeah so it's a nine eight <clears throat> Maybe soon to see it a raffle there. You have all right. <laughs> I paired this up with the book that I really wanted, which was I don't the know first, this book. first appearance that was of the good, man. at a nine nice. eight. And you know, we talk about letting the uh, hobby pay for itself. Yeah. At our auction, I sold a raw copy of Livewire, which gave me enough money to buy a nine point eight copy of Livewire. Awesome. So awesome. um, you know, Livewire is a very underrated yeah, villain. I love Livewire. I really do. You know. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. And again, it's something it's it came out of that Superman Adventures, which is the same thing like Harley Quinn came out of Batman yeah. Adventures. So if she really pops, I mean, she was on the Supergirl show. Uh, yeah, she so was. Did it move? Did it move the book a little bit? Probably then. Yes. Well, they do a Not, very good job with it. But. Yeah, I mean, if she's ever in a movie, that book is definitely going to pop, and it's very low print run compared to I'm very happy to have that because it's for kids. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, it's yeah, well, that's why I picked it. As soon I as I saw it, I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I'm buying this. I'm buying smart it. guy. So I definitely had a little. Um, I, I'm guilty of this all the time. Like I see a book, I pass on it, and next thing you know, somebody says, "Oh, I grabbed this book." So I think it was Jay who picked up the Do Doom Origin story. Yep. Right. He picked that up after I passed. I think like five or six people passed on it. 
And then I saw it, and it was at such a ridiculous price. It was a great price, but I had just dropped all this money with JNS. I was just—I knew I was going to buy this, and I'm a dumbass. I'm sorry. I—I I, I would, I should have bought it. So family show. I apologize. I'm all wound up and stuff like that. So yeah. So I missed out on that, but it was a great time. So goddamn, 75 minutes, guys, kicking it. Hundred over 100 people watch us. We really appreciate everybody watching. Yeah, thanks right. everybody. Yes. Stay with us. So pick that just, up in the mail. Oh, what you got? Ooh. Um, actually, Instagram. Phantom. M4 Comics or something like that. I, I'm, I brought the paper. I forgot it at home. He, not only that, but he gave me with that Amazing Spider-Man 198 and 199. Those are Mysterio. Comics. Yeah, I'm, both of them are Mysterio yeah. colors. Yes. Is that the right? one that I sent you? And it's they're definitely. And they're definitely, you know. Oh, I love that cover. I love books, that too. cover. And he wrote me a little note with it. Thank you for claiming this book so fast. And yeah, Justin, this is the one, the link you sent me, because it's the same. I have two versions of this, you know, one with a mask, one without. But those look like pictures. Like this is a sketch cover. I've never even seen it. So Justin, as we all do, look out for each other, knowing that I collect the ASM three hundred cover swipes. Um, Send it to me, and as usual, I buy it because I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> and then thanks to Chad RCG, got your brother's shirts and stuff because we use your your little mishap on. I bought this little run of Eternals: 13, 14, 16, 17, and eighteen. Nice. Bought that at the auction after I bought one through eleven from Mister Let the day before or earlier in that auction. So I have one to 18 and three number ones. You have three number ones? Yeah. <laughs> oh are they, yeah, are they slab worthy? I picked that up on, on eBay. That's nice. the uh, Spider-Man um, controversial where he's on the ground on handcuffs with the cops kneeling on him. Sure. So, I've been seeing that book a lot lately. Yeah. So that's it. I got I got nothing else. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Oh my God. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, we don't have a lot of Justin stuff. Like, a, right. Justin a lot. I mean, Justin's got two I short mean, boxes. Funny story, just to wrap up before. You know, before we wrap up, Dave, let's give some shout outs to uh, some new people that just jumped in. Who's been jumping in with us? Hang on. Yeah, so we got uh, the Grown Up Gamer. We got BX Boxer 1231. Who else? Let's scroll up a little bit. Uh, Boston Chris Comics. Thanks for joining with us. Uh, Jeff Silversmith, shout out to him. He's uh, building out his comic following again, so definitely give him a follow. He actually gave uh, us three minute, three minute of basement a shout out on his uh, his first comic yeah, show. We appreciate so, that, yes, yeah, for sure. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? We got in there, man from Beantown, Anthony Debo's in there, Jeff the Geek. So, yeah, I mean, uh, 102 people hang with us still. Yeah, Good stuff. Yep. Kaya B. Yep, we have uh. You know, Emerald Knight 041, thank you very much. So, yeah, we had a great show. We planned this for a while. It's been kicking. So uh, we're just going to go around the horn and uh, wrap up. So, Justin, how about you? Any last words before we close out? Um, yeah, like I said, Saturday, I'll be dropping a haul video from the shop that I just went to yesterday in here in New Jersey. I will definitely be doing uh, probably about three videos with all the stuff that I picked up at the Comic Crawl. And we are closing in on details of the Three Men in the Basement mystery box. Details to come. Make sure you're following me, Nemesis Prime, on Instagram. Uh, I will be dropping the information hopefully soon. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out the final touches. But uh, I will tell you right now, it's going to be a low, uh, little limited boxes. Probably 20 to 25 boxes. So it's going to be first come, first serve. So be sure to check out my Instagram uh, on that. And that's all I have. And thank you guys, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight on a Thursday night right before 4th of July. Um, again, right on the bottom, as you can see, our next upcoming shows is July 16th and July 30th. And we may sprinkle in some other live shows. You never know. Yeah, so you never know. You never that's know. That's all I got. Dave, uh, closing words. Yeah. So uh, always a pleasure, gentlemen. Um, had an absolutely fantastic time on Monday. Uh, couldn't think of a better group to do it with. But um, no, I mean, uh, Dave in the Cave here on YouTube, Dave in the Cave one on Instagram. I have a whole video dropping. Um, really looking forward to doing that. 25 CGC books in the mail. So very excited to see what that invoice has uh, has in store for me. So maybe uh 
Maybe we'll do a pop-up live show for that. But uh, otherwise, always a pleasure, guys. Really, really appreciate the support and uh, can't wait for the next one. Nice, nice, nice. Raj, yeah, party words for you? I think Monday was just so much fun. Uh, make sure you check out our video uh, that Everett put together for our comic crawl and then also on Very Gary's channel, his version of how he saw the kinetic comic crawl. Uh, you know, 10 guys driving around the state looking for comics. Absolute fun. If it doesn't look like fun on the video, trust me, it was fun. And as <laughs> usual, the most valuable thing that you can give to me is your time. I appreciate you watching us and giving us your time. Peace, everybody. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So before we leave, I want to give a shout out to a lot of people in the community who are just doing great things. Of course, I want to give a shout out to Very Gary Comics. Check out his videos. I want to give a shout out to the Forge Brothers. Uh, the Forge guys are doing stuff on their videos. Sub them up. Uh, CLG Comics, sub them up. Choker M21 just ran his own auction the other night with nine people, man. Yeah. Maybe even ten working hard. Of course, Lords of the Log Box. Uh, of course, the NY Warriors all doing great things. Uh, Erod, check him out on all his haul videos. We want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Rocket Comics, who's absolutely working hard today. Go Butcher. Jay to Butcher 105. <laughs> Rocket Comics brought over 400 books to see with Jim Lee today. So no. uh, without you guys, this would not be fun. And this was absolute fun. We've been planning this. I had another CGC invoice for 25 books. I finally sent it in the pre-screen nine eights. Um, we do have a holiday weekend coming up. Everybody stay safe. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your time. On behalf of Nemesis Prime, oh, I do want to say something. Keep your calendar open if you are planning on going to Terrificon. That's all I'm going to say. Ooh. That Saturday, there might be something happening. Might be. There might be, okay? Just keep your calendar open. Keep your open. calendar open. The three men in the basement are working on something. So let's try that again. On behalf of Nemesis Prime, David Cave, Roger Levesque, I'm your host, Everett Otto. We are three men in the basement, and we are out.